Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. As usual, my name is Henry and I'm going to be your tour guide on today's video. Before we move any further, do us the favor by subscribing to the channel, hit the notification bell to get notified once we release a new video, share with your friends and we are going to move on. Okay, in today's video, we are actually going to be talking about D5 Render. D5 Render is a very useful real-time rendering software that uses ray tracing rendering engine which makes the output extremely good. D5 is very versatile. You can use it to achieve realistic render easily. The interface is very simple. You could also use it to achieve amazing animations and D5 is actually very easy to learn and it's not actually that difficult to be using. Okay, so in today's video, we're just going to go through D5 as a software and I'm going to walk from Revit and show you guys how to start a job from Revit and actually carry it to D5 without any issues. Without any further ado, let's start. Okay, as you can see here, we have our Revit project okay so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to start exporting to export i'm going to go over here and click on this d5 render tab so to get the d5 converter you can simply go to d5render.com we are just going to click on this d5 render and we're going to see the export tab over here then we're going to click export but before i export i want to do something and what i want to do is i'm going to go to this manage tab over here and i'm going to go to purge unused and I'm just going to click it. This purge on use will actually make the Revit file lighter. So I'm just going to click on purge on used. And this tab will cover out here. I've actually purged this project before, so it's just 117. So I'm just going to click OK. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to this export tab over here. And go to D5. Then go to this export tab. And I'm just going to increase this smoothness a bit to around this um, 10. Then I'm going to click export. And I'm going to locate it in a good place that I can remember so I'll be able to access it later while I'm using D5. Okay, now we have located where we want to place it. We're just going to rename it as sample one and we're going to click save. Now we've exported the main building. We're going to go further to just export the fence as well. So I'm just going to select this whole project and simply type HH on my keyboard to just temporarily hide it. Then I'm going to go over to this tab here and reveal the hidden elements because I want to export the individual fences of this project as well. So I'm just going to click on it, on hide in view by elements, and I'm going to export each of them. The advantage of D5 is that even if I want to export this thing, I can make the center point where this 3D center point is. I can just place this pivot over here. So when I place it in D5, I'll be able to use this place as a movement. So we are just going to click export again. And we are going to name it as F1. And we are going to replicate the same thing for the other fences. So I'm just going to hide this one. Okay, and now we're going to jump over to D5 Render. Just a quick note, if you're opening D5, I always recommend that you need to be connected to the internet because D5 will still open if you're not connected to the internet, but you will not be able to access uh, most of its components. You only have to work with components that you have locally on your system. So to open a new project, I'm just going to click on this new. Now we have D5 open and I'm just going to go through the overall interface. Here we have the file, this three line icon over here. We have the tools where you can actually manage the file, whether you want to import a new, open a new file, you want to go back to the welcome page or you want to open a previous file. Okay, then we we'll also have this tab over here to import models, which we are going to use shortly. We have this tab here showing the layers, so you can work with layers in D5 also. We also have this object tab over here showing the available objects you've imported. Then you also have this environment tab where you can adjust the setting of the environment. You can change the exposure of the sun and change whatever setting you want to change. You also have this camera tab over here where you can adjust the setting of the cameras and the properties and its parameters you also have this display tab over here where you can make reduce the display quality to smooth or to precise but precise is actually heavier and it actually needs a good system to actually run it then you also have this tab over here to place components like lights path tools if for instance if you want to make cars moving in continuously and other stuff you can also add the other tools like brush scatter parts and you also have the options to also add particles like fountains fire and so on so we're just going to click on this import tab over here 
and we're going to locate our previously exported file okay so we have located it and we're just going to click on it and open and we're just going to wait for it to fully import okay now it has imported we're just going to click it under from this importer tab and click it then we're going to place the model over here so as you can see we have successfully placed the model and we are going to import the fences first of all um, as you can see our camera movement is actually on orbit just another thing to note you can adjust this here over here you click on this tab and click on this fly this fly allows you to navigate the d5 interface more like you are moving like a ghost instead of the orbit tool that just makes you go in a concentric pattern so we are just going to place the fences over here and we are going to place the second fence as you can see here if i go to this object tab over here the model i currently selected here is actually reflecting in this tab so for instance if you are looking for a model and you can't actually locate it by just visibly viewing the scenery you can always go to this tab over here to select the object so we're just going to select this one and we're going to move them one after the other so we're going to be moving them and putting them into place rather as you can see we have successfully imported this model into d5 so we're just going to click save to do that we we'll just simply do ctrl s and we're going to save it again and locate it where we want to actually save it I was just going to save it as sample D5. I was going to click save. Okay, we have successfully saved it and we have successfully imported the model. So I hope this video was helpful in introducing you to the overall interface to D5. So if this video was helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this, hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos. That will be very important because from here on, we'll be releasing D5 videos and exploring other aspects of D5, including picking views, picking materials, taking shots, environmental settings, compositions, animations, and so much more. So always watch out on this channel and have a nice day. Thank you.